everybody welcome back to the channel today i'm going to give you my top tips of items that i would recommend you take with you on a disney trip now we all like to buy new shoes ahead of going on holiday but my advice would be to buy a pair ahead of your break and wear them in because there is going to be a lot of walking during your stay at Disney. If you're taking small children, even if they don't use a buggy in the UK, I strongly recommend looking at getting a cheap fold up buggy because for them it is very long days, they are going to get tired and they are going to want to rest. We all have electronic devices these days and overnight we're going to want to charge them up so they're ready for the next day in the park. In the hotels, generally you don't get very many places to plug your items in to charge overnight and you may also find that the sockets you do find are in rather obscure places. Take with you a European travel adapter and a four-way power bar. That way you can always make sure that your devices are charged for your next day. I generally do my trips to Disneyland Paris and when I am packing for my trips I make sure I pack for all weather because the weather as everybody knows can be changeable. It's always handy also when you go into the parks to have a lightweight jacket or a poncho because you never know when it's going to rain. The parks are generally all outside and there's high chance that if it's going to rain you're not going to be able to get to shelter straight away. If you're like me and you like a cup of tea in the morning, I always take my travel kettle and some tea bags with me. Milk, you can get little cartons from the shops within the hotels, but be aware that the milk you will purchase will be UHT. Now, you're gonna get thirsty whilst you're in the parks. You can buy drinks whilst you're in the park from the concession stands or from the quick service counters, but these can, over the course of the trip, start to work expensive. So my next tip would be take a water bottle with you the water in the parks are drinkable and if you don't want to drink just plain water, a bottle of squirty squash will go a long way. When you're planning your trip, especially if you're going to be going for a long period of time, take a mixture of both cash in the currency of the parks you're going to and your bank card because card machines are prone to going down and when this does happen you do end up with long queues at cash machines which can't be fun and are then eating into your day so you can't go and see mickey mouse because you're queuing up to get your money out to go and pay for an ice cream or something like that one thing definitely you don't want to forget is your camera. Your camera will be your key to your memories within the park. There is just so much to see within the parks and also when you do have character meets not every character does have a photo pass photographer. I'll cover photo passes at a later date and you're going to want to capture those magical moments. Also if you like me and you like to do little videos of what you've seen as well having a camera is key. One other thing I will suggest is if you are going to be using your phone as your camera whilst you're there it is going to eat your battery so a portable power bank is a must-have accessory to make sure you have in your bag in the park. A key item to also pack is a lightweight backpack because obviously you're going to want to have a bag to put your water bottle, your camera, your phone, your charger, your ponchos in for whilst you're in the park. If you can find a bag that has multiple pockets, then these are more advantageous because it does mean that you can departmentalize where you're gonna keep things and also gives you then an extra piece of space if you do buy merchandise out there because Disney no longer provide free bags. So there you have it. They are my top tips for Disney. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you like my channel, subscribe down there. I'm going to be doing a few more videos over the coming weeks, including those that cover the new meal plans that Disneyland Paris have just introduced and the magic pass that you get when you stay at Disneyland Hotel. So keep your eyes open. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Bye.